Thanks for stopping by the shop. This is Chuck. Uh, I got a couple things to show you. Um, before we start, I just want to say thank you to all of the condolences, thoughts, prayers, support of my son uh, Tim passing away. I've uh, had so much outreach from so many people. Um, I really, really can't answer everybody, but just want to really throw it out and say thank you. It's uh, tough times right now for my wife and I as we're trying to adjust, but uh, all of the uh, comments certainly help. Thanks again. So, I got a couple things to show you here. One, uh, one of my last videos was the C-clamp under my welding table. Well, got something to show you there, learned a little bit. We'll move to that. And then the uh, other thing I'm going to show you in today's video is a tool for the lathe in checking uh, your tool bit height. Now, there's a zillion of these videos out there. Um, this is another method of doing it, so I thought I would share it with you guys, and uh, we'll get over to the lathe. Let me uh, move real quick, and we'll talk about the uh, welding table. Okay, here we're at the back of the welding table. You can see here's the uh, pallet jack, jack for moving the table. The table has not moved. But what did I learn after this is all built and been sitting here? As you notice, some of these clamps are not hanging nice and straight like they're supposed to lay. Well, if they're oiled and the threads are real nice and loose, the general weight, if it's not perpendicular perfect, they lay over. Same thing over here. Uh, I'm going to roll, I think you can see it. These clamps here, they're, they're these guys with a real heavy body on them, a little overweight, and off they go. So, uh, I don't, uh, don't know how to solve it yet. I still like the... Uh, the compactness of it and the fact that I can basically, you know, just reach in and grab a clamp. It's it's real simple. So I like that aspect of it, but I thought I would share share this with you. Um, maybe some well, it won't it won't matter. No matter what you do it, where the bar goes into the hole, that doesn't change it. It's basically these clamps are I clean them all up and oil them, and they lay over. Don't oil your clamps. Okay, that, just uh, thought I'd share that with you, and uh, we'll go uh, go back to the uh, lathe. Okay, over here at the lathe, and here is the tool. You can see it's on a long bar, and it's a two-sided tool. So one checks the top of the tool where you can go back and forth on it. and They both check top of tool, excuse me. The tool would be under here and it would be even right here. So this is uh, 125 thousandths thick and you got half and half. So you say, well how did you find your height of your uh, center? Well, it's pretty cool. I bought this tool from uh, Joe Pizinski. Put that in the chuck. And you can see I'm basically on center right now. Spin it around. And you can see I'm just over the top. Spin it around. It's a great tool that Joe sells. This part is basically, it's a three-quarter inch spud. And that's dead nut center. And there you can see. Right like that. So I cut the stem to that height. And it's real simple for checking tool height. Just come on over and you can check tool height. You can do it either or. Or you can spin it around and check it so that you're over the top of it. What's really nice about the long bar is, say you got a boring bar in there. Well, geez, the boring bar is on the wrong side. Eh, no it's not. You can reach right over and you can check it. So you can see this guy right there. I'm actually, the bar is a little low right now. 
uh, you got to adjust this one. But you just spin it around, you can see it goes right over the top of it. So that bar is low. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Pretty simple build. It's uh, real accessible. If I have to reach over to the tailstock, I can reach over there off of the uh, cross line. I can reach anywhere I need to reach and uh, get a height. So I thought I'd share that with you. It's a good, uh, good little design, little tool, and uh, maybe it'll help somebody see in that. Thanks for stopping by the shop. As always, uh, hit the magic buttons. Subscribe. Uh, the other button that tells you when I'm putting something up. And, of course, always uh, love comments. Got to learn from comments.